All right, hello, my wonderful North Shore School District comrades. I'm going to go through how to make your laptop print to one of the Ricoh copiers and even do staples. It's pretty special. First things first, I'm on the page that lists all of our Ricohs at the school. I'm going to zoom in here if it'll let me on our IPs. They all start with 10.171.79. And that last number is going to be the one we need to pick. So if you're over in the 300 building, you're going to want 10.171.79.202. If you're up in the second story of the 700, you're going to like this guy right here. Uh, this one is the one that's in the um, back kind of prep break room over in the 100 building. Uh, this one is actually more in counseling than in the main office. This is the one that is in the main office, main office. And again, remember, all of them are going to be 10.171.79, and then that last number is the one that changes, 201, 202, 203, 204. We'll go back to that part once we actually need to punch these in a little bit later. So let's do this one. So the one that's in the 300 building on the second floor and ends in 202. We're going to click on our little apple up here, go to System Preferences, and we're going to go into Printers and Scanners. Hit our little plus sign down here to add a new one. We're going to add it by IP, and we always want to make sure that the protocol here says LPD. Sometimes it'll try to default to one of these other ones. Just double check and make sure it's on LPD. Now here's where we're going to use that IP address from before. 10.171.79. That's every printer at Bothell starts with those three digits. And then for the one that we care about here, we need to say .202. See down here how it says gathering printer information? If this doesn't come up with RICO, then something went wrong, it's not going to work, we got to try again. If it comes up with something like generic postscript printer or something, then it failed to get the drivers it needs and we need to cancel and start over or else it's going to have all sorts of issues moving forward. There's the bell. Uh, name is going to be what you look for for the printer in the future, so make it something useful for yourself. Then we'll say add, and this is the magic part that lets us do our staples. If you click under finisher, pick this first one right here, that's going to let us do some pretty cool stuff. So say OK. All right, now here we're going to diverge a bit. If you already had your Rico set up on your computer, but you don't have it set up yet to be able to do the stapling as well, you can select that Rico from your list of printers here. Say options and supplies, options, and go to this finisher and add it in right here. So I didn't have my main office one set up to be able to do staples, now I do because I selected that and said okay. So the last step here is actually telling it to do the stapling. Um, so I'll show you that part. So we say change to change it to the printer that we just added. That's the 300 building Rico. If you ever aren't finding the options you want when you're in print, print using system dialog gets you to the other print menu, which can be really helpful. That's what we're going to do here. So I hit print using system dialog. That popped me up to this page. This is what we are looking for. We click here and go down to printer features because we're going to be using one of the fancy printer features like stapling. This part's just not intuitive, but that's okay. Instead of general one, we need to go to general two, and then we see our second option down there is staple. 
when you click on that, there's top left, top right, two at left, two at right, two at top. Got all sorts of cool stapling options for if you want it to come out looking like a book or just a regular packet or what have you. So we'll just say top left, say print. And you've got a stapled printed page spitting out of Eureka. So uh, this saves us some good money. I think it's about a fourth as expensive printing to the Rico as printing to one of our little HP printers. And it saves you time and work because now you don't have to move it over to the copier and it's already spitting out with staples and whatnot. So we love efficiency. Yay for efficiency. Uh, my extension is 7140 if you have any questions on this. Thanks so much for watching.